Oh my guys. Well, <laughs> just when you thought it was safe to come back onto YouTube, he has returned like a, uh, is it a bad penny or a cockroach you thought you had squashed a while back? That is, <coughs> that is correct. Hambone Little Tail has returned to the, uh, Netherlands of YouTube back on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Now it is actually Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Now the my plan was to come back on the air on January 1st, on New Year's Day. So I actually reactivated my channel, which I had taken down uh, which we'll talk about in a little while. Uh, I had actually reactivated my channel on New Year's Eve, thinking I was going to come on Sunday morning on New Year's Day and talk about the new, I don't know if it's going to be the improved Humpty Dumpty tribe or not. You decide. But I found out, <coughs> so my channel's gone for three weeks. I bring it back up on New Year's Eve, and by the next morning, not one, but two of my videos have been ripped down for medical misinformation. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like the cop bots are alive and well. <coughs> These were videos that were over a year old. I mean, like a year and three months old, had not received one view, one comment, uh, no problem with the YouTube cop bots, sat there for over a year, and now my channel is down. So I am in YouTube jail right now, I think just for one week, although it was two videos, so I don't know how long, but anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start making these videos and just start uploading them whenever I am back out of YouTube jail. Good Lord, I actually had some ridiculous notion that uh, YouTube was backing off a little bit of this overzealousness of their Corona Panic cop bots, but I guess not. Uh, so anyway... Uh, this channel, I am proud to say, I really think I can make the New Year's resolution that we're done with Corona Panic uh, once and for all. That I will never make a Corona Panic uh, video this year. The big exception being, of course, if I, if I end up getting Corona Panic, I'm sure we will have some hilarious videos of Hand on Little Talgets. Corona panic. So anyway, guys, uh, obviously, I, I think we all realize, speaking of Corona panic, that since about the spring of 2020, Humpty Dumpty Tribe has gone completely down the toilet. Completely down the toilet. Uh, you know, remember the days when my videos used to get 2,000 views. If I get 100 views a a anymore, I'm thrilled. You know, I am a, a direct casualty of Corona Panic for many, many reasons, which I won't rehash. So anyway, Humpty Dumpty Tribe has been floundering around down here uh, in its death rattle. Uh, going on three years and just trying to figure out what the fuck to do with this channel. Do I just put Hambone Little Tail out of his misery and just put all of my energies over into my real YouTube channel? You know, that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles. So anyway, before all of this crazy shit happened over at Collapse Chronicles, uh, and I have, I finally, 
officially have more subscribers at Collapse Chronicles than I do Humpty Dumpty Tribe. You know, I have gotten over 2,400 new subscribers at Collapse Chronicles uh, in the past two weeks. But for whatever reason, you know, YouTube and their analytics, whatever that means, they sent me my yearly report comparing activity on my channel uh, Collapse Chronicles versus Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So, for whatever reason, they run it, I think, from December 1st to December 1st instead of January 1st to January 1st. So anyway, right before I took down Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I got the, uh, I, you know, I heard from YouTube both of my channels. So before my interview on Soft White Underbelly, you know, on Collapse Chronicles, that just, uh, where my whole new chapter in life starting over there, right before that happened, and one of the reasons, but not the main reason that I took down my channel, okay, before, in the 12 months preceding my Soft White Underbelly interview, uh, Collapse Chronicles gained 385 new subscribers. Three of, so roughly every day somebody else subscribed to uh, Collapse Chronicles. Uh, so at the, the end result uh, that I gained, I had a net gain of 385 new subscribers on Collapse Chronicles. How many net new subscribers do you think Humpty Dumpty Tribe gained in 12 months? And I guess I can, in the last 13 months. So in the last 13 months, how many new subscribers have signed up uh, at Humpty Dumpty Tribe? on a planet of 8 billion people, if your guess was four. Four human beings on planet Earth joined Humpty Dumpty Tribe in the past 13 months, and this is after I have been on the air for 13 years. Or is it 14 years? 13, 14 years uh, of doing this, thousands of videos, I gained four new subscribers uh, in the last 13 months. So it really, I really don't give a flying fuck uh, at this point what happens to this channel because I understand there's maybe, I have about a hundred of you guys still, you know, my regular tribe has is now down to less than 100 regular viewers. So I, I, I don't give a flying fuck what goes on, but obviously whatever I have been doing uh, the past, since the spring of 2020 is the wrong thing. So I have moved all of the doom and gloom over to Collapse Chronicles. So if you're still coming over here to Humpty Dumpty Tribe for your daily dose of doom and gloom, you're not going to hear it here. Well, you, you are going to hear it, but you know what I'm saying. If you're looking for the doom and gloom, go over and subscribe to Collapse Chronicles and listen to what that little eco-pussy has to say about the state of the planet. Uh, I, I guess nobody over here, we're not, we don't talk about the state of the planet uh, here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe anymore. So guys, I'm just figuring out what to do with this channel, and after pretty much taking a month off uh, sleeping on it, what is Hambone Little Tail going to talk about 
uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe since obviously nobody has any fucking interest about whatever I've been talking about for the last two and a half years, and you're going to be absolutely shocked what the answer to that question is. I am going to be talking about Hambone Littletail. Pretty much, not 100%. I mean, I'm still going to be doing videos of, you know, crazy stories in my daily life. Like, I'm heading to Mexico and Belize here in a couple of weeks. And uh, so those kind of videos uh, will still be over here. But what I am going to be centering my attention on, I have been, uh, I have been thinking... Of, of getting back into writing. So here at uh, age 63, I've been uh, having some narcissistic idea of writing my memoirs. And I've also been thinking about maybe writing for medium.com. So uh, I thought maybe that I could just combine writing my memoirs with and just putting them down as essays in medium.com but the problem is I'm too fucking lazy to do that so pretty much what I am going to do for the foreseeable future is sit here and talk about myself tell crazy stories from my past now, if any of you have actually been here and remember the days on the rock, that way back in the beginning of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, for the first, I would say, two, maybe even three years, uh, a major part of Humpty Dumpty Tribe was simply me telling crazy hambone little tale stories about crazy shit. Uh, that has happened in my life. Uh, and so if you've been with me, if anybody listening to this has been with me since the days on the rock, chances are you've heard about 99% of these crazy stories already that I have already told uh, these stories. So... Uh, if you've already heard them, uh, sorry to uh, bore you to tears. Uh, go listen to somebody else's stories. And so it's just, so I'm just going to tell them over again because I'm bored as hell and it's easier than writing them down. And I'm going to be just regularly putting out a, uh, a Hambone Little Tale story uh, each day. Uh, it's not going to be in any sort of chronological order. It's going to be whatever crazy story that I think about. Now, there is one going to be one difference uh, between the way I used to do it and the way I do. Now, what I would really like and is to invite people, if, if I tell a story about whatever and it uh, reminds you of a crazy story in your own life, uh, we need to bring back storytelling uh, to this planet. So if anything I say in one of my stories strikes a chord with you, and you would like to share your own story uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, just send me a pitch at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com saying, Hambo, your story reminded me of my story about blah, blah, blah. And uh, if it sounds like it's a good story, uh, then I will bring you on to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, we will figure out uh, how to record you and you will have up to 30 minutes to tell your story. What I would really like to develop uh, is like a some sort of offbeat version of the moth story hour or something where I know 
that that if you're down here in this rabbit hole, that you have some crazy stories of your own. And I would love to hear them and share them. So uh, by all means, think of some crazy stories. And of course, so the very first story I was going to tell uh, was about my trip to L.A. to uh, appear on Soft White Underbelly. Uh, I was going to uh, tell the story of how all of that came about and how that went down and everything. Because it's a great story, but that story, there was another character in that story who is my buddy, Elliot Jacobson. So ironically enough, the first story I am going to tell on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I'm going to tell on Collapse Chronicles that Elliot and I are going to be getting together here in a few minutes, and I'm going to be telling that story uh, about um, our trip to Soft White Underbelly. Uh, I will probably go ahead and post it here as well on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but uh, that will be the first story, and then uh, just whenever I think of some crazy hambone story and I feel like sitting here talking to myself, uh, I will sit here and come talk to myself because I'm talking to myself anyway on this channel. So I hope you can join me. And if you have your own story, send me your pitch at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com and we will see what we can do. And that is the new Humpty Dumpty Tribe 2023 version. Let's see how it goes. Get out there and enjoy telling stories while you still can. I'm sure we will have some Sancho Panza stories to tell. Bye, guys.